Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create procedural volleyball inside Houdini. Ok, so let's move inside Houdini. So first of all I am going to create one geometric container. I just go inside this particular stuff. Now see over here, if you see that original volleyball how it's look. Ok, so over here it has three sides or you can say that uh, three segments or whatever and the pattern of this particular volleyball is look like this okay so first of all we need to achieve this kind of pattern okay and that is the main goal of uh, this particular tutorial so for that reason i am going to create one grid okay and i just set it to one by one and over here i just set four and two so basically four row and two column that means we get basically three segments so it's look like this okay so now we need to arrange this particular grid in a proper manner so that we can create a proper pattern of volleyball okay so for that reason i am just apply one transform and move 0.5 up now what we need we need to create one mirror and that should be in y direction okay so now we get this pattern now over here i want to achieve this particular uh, pattern so for that reason i'm going to apply copy and transform and over here i am going to apply 90 degree x okay so we get something like this but over here we need this should be vertically so for that reason I just apply 90 degree in Z. Okay, so now I get this particular stuff. Now I need this particular thing. And for that reason I just apply one transform over here. And I just apply 90 and 90 like this. Okay, and now what we need to do? We just merge these two stuff. Like this. Okay, so now see we get this kind of pattern over here. Okay, so that basically we achieve our pattern, but it is in cubical formation. Now we need to convert that particular stuff into spherical things as well as we need a proper topology. Okay, so now our next step is like that. So for that reason, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change some things over here in grid and I just apply edit parameter select integer add that particular integer over here name it as res and give a proper label like a resolution range should be 1 to 10 apply accept and over here I just set it to maybe 3 now what I need to do is that I just copy this parameter over here in row, paste a relative reference, multiply with 3 and plus 1. Ok, so we get something like this. Now I am going to copy this particular stuff and paste the relative reference over here. Ok, so now see we get proper topology as well as it basically divide the thing into proper uh, multiplication of 3. Okay, so that will help us a lot. Okay, over here, one thing I prefer to do is that I just lock this particular range. Okay, so we are not go below that particular value. Okay, so by default, I just set it to 3. Now, what I need to do is that over here, I need to divide it, this particular stuff, okay, into 3 parts. So, the group of that primitive should be divided into three part for each side. Okay, so for that reason, I am just apply one for each number. Now see, as we have total six sides and we need each side has three segments. Okay, so total six into three that is 18. So over here we need to apply 
18 time iteration. Over here, I create one null. Uh, I also apply that uh, add spare input. Over here, I just call this particular things like dash dot dot slash for each count one. Okay, so basically it call this particular stuff. Now over here I am going to create one more parameter integer that is okay. Name it as i and just give a name proper name like iteration. Apply accept. And now what I need to do is it I just need iteration information and for that reason I am just calling one detail function and to call this particular spare input I need to apply minus one over here and definitely the attribute name that is iteration double inverted comma over comma zero okay so now basically over here we call that iteration information now what need I need to do is that over here I just create one group range group by range uh, primitive is okay group name that is okay uh, over here I just set equal partition I should apply 18 partition and over here I just apply this copy this parameter iteration and just paste it over here paste relative reference over here okay, so basically we get each and every time this segment this segment and something like that okay so right now i have the, i just apply like this now what i need to do is that i just apply one blast operator i just blast this group one delete none selected and over here i just create one attribute create name it as print id that should be applied on primitive preferable integer and over here I again paste that iteration information that I copied from here okay so now if you click over here we get something like this but if you click info and maybe primitive ID so now see we get segment like this if you want to get a proper information for that thing maybe you can click over here go to marker and now see you can see those values like 17 16 15 or 000, 000 or something like that but see the pattern 00111222 over here it has 15 16 over here it is vertical and something like that okay so we basically manage our pattern uh, within that segments also okay so now what I need to do I just disable this particular stuff now over here I just apply fuse okay so it just fuse everything now I just create one spear and primitive over here I just apply ray apply this particular stuff this particular stuff over here and I just apply minimum distance and see we get something like this okay so next thing is that uh, over here I am going to apply some color to this particular stuff okay so it look like this okay so blue I, right now I am going to apply only blue and uh, yellow color so for that reason I just apply one attribute Wrangler and that should be run over primitive now I just write some expression so over here I just write down like if at primitive ID modular 2 okay then at cd is equal to chv double inverted comma color 1 semicolon over else at cd is equal to chv 
color two, and I just click over here. So now we get something like color one and color two. But over here, I need that colored uh, parameter, proper color parameter. So for that reason, I just edit parameter panel, select both of this particular thing, and over here, type to be changed to color. Apply accept. Now you can apply some color over here, like I just select this one, apply blue color, I select second color, I apply yellow color. Okay, so we get this kind of pattern. Now what I need to do is that over here, I am going to apply for each primitive. And you just select this particular stuff, over here we need to apply this piece attribute is should be primitive ID. Okay, so now it consider that whole stuff uh, which has same primitive idea as one unit. Now I just apply one poly actually over here. Apply some value, maybe 0 0.04. Okay, now it is preferable that you apply fuse because what happened that over here if you check that exploded view we get all segments separately okay so over here I prefer to apply one fuse and then you can go with subdivide and we get some thing like this maybe to give a proper look you can just rotate little bit over here and there maybe apply some match size to set that particular stuff onto grid i just apply minimum value over here even if you want to apply some texture onto this particular stuff it is preferable that you just come over here and you just apply uv unwrap over here okay and you just apply straight stretch okay now maybe if i bypass this particular stuff for color stuff now see you will get a proper UV unwrapped volleyball okay you can play with those value like you just reduce this particular extrusion or whatever it's up to you like this okay so that's how you can create a procedural volleyball Hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.